Hi, I'm David with Portrait Displays and welcome back to the reference review room here in Los Angeles, California, where we've calibrated the Sony BVM HX310 and the LG 77CX. Our next video here is about matching these monitors. So we've brought in colorist Josh Peacock to help us do just that. Josh, you want to introduce yourself? Thanks, Dave. Uh, I am Josh Peacock. I am a freelance colorist here in Los Angeles, California. Uh, I work on everything from commercials to music videos to TV to features. And I rely on people like Dave to make sure that these two monitors that are in the room match each other so that I can fulfill a lot of the client's needs and desires. And uh, it's all accurate to how we are working. All right, so if you've watched our video on the Sony BVM HX310, you might remember that I talked about alternative white points and how the spectral power distribution may cause metamerism between displays. Just like the WRGB OLED behind me has a different spectral power distribution than the Sony. It's important to match with your operators, such as Josh, so that we're able to match not only to the display metamerism, but also the observer metamerism, because Josh and I might not see things exactly the same. Let's get started. Okay. Josh is going to turn down the lights to get us into a more normal viewing environment. Of course, we do have some lights on for the video shoot here, so that might play a little bit of a role, but we really want to show you what we're doing here. Josh has the Sony BVM-HX310 set up just in front of him, where he's able to see over the monitor to the LG 77CX you see here. The same signal is running through our distribution system to the Sony and the LG, and they're both calibrated right now for P3 D65, PQ HDR in full range. Josh, what are you seeing? Okay, well, let's hit play on the sequence and see what we're seeing between the two monitors here. Okay, I just want to get a little bit further, see somebody close up and get an idea of a skin tone perhaps. When we do monitor matching, we really like to ask the colorist or the operator in the room to look at lots of shots before really making a creative decision. The reason is you can focus on one specific image or frame for a very long time trying to get every little detail right, but it's important to note that when you adjust calibration settings in the display, they're not just adjusting one point, they're adjusting most of the points. Therefore, you want to get an overall feel for your monitor before you start making these adjustments. So this is a great example. I'm noticing a lot more red in his skin tone here uh, as compared to what I'm seeing on this monitor here. So Josh is mentioning a little more red. As a calibrator, I'm gonna ask Josh, are you seeing a red tone to the entire image or is it more focused just on his skin tone? I think that in this image, uh, I'm seeing it mostly in just his skin tone. So if we're seeing it just in the skin tone, there's a couple ways to approach this as a calibrator when trying to perceptually match these monitors. One, we might want to desaturate the skin tone, which will also desaturate the image. But since the image doesn't have a reddish tone to the entire image, it may not be a white balancing difference. Of course, it also might be a white balancing difference where we might want to just adjust the bias control to remove some red since his skin tone is the, the lower half of the grayscale. Let's start with color saturation and see how Josh feels about it. I'm going to press into the settings on the LG CX. We'll come into our picture mode. And we're going to reduce that color. Now sometimes having the menu on screen is going to be an issue, but we'll start with one or two clicks, see how Josh feels about it. Yeah, it's still looking a little bit too red. Yeah, that's, that's getting there. Okay, so we've removed about four clicks of saturation at this point. I'd like Josh to look at a couple more scenes to see if that was the right way to approach this. If not, we'll put this back up and we'll take another look at the bias control. I'm just going to bring up another scene here. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's looking like it's, gonna, it's an improvement for sure. Okay, going in the right direction. It's also important to note that some of the matching we're going to be doing also affects the characteristics of the displays. Keep in mind, the Sony that we calibrated calibrated just over 900 nits, whereas the LG CX calibrated around 650 nits. So we're also gonna have some luminance differences between the two displays. So we might all need to take a little bit of time and work on those specific things. Like specifically in this background, I, I'm feeling like the, the behind him, there, it's getting a little bit darker than what I'm seeing on this monitor. A little bit darker, so the, the black level might be crushing a little bit on this monitor right. perceptually versus what you're seeing on the right. Sony. Exactly. Okay. 
So Josh is seeing that the black level appears to be slightly crushed. I'm gonna go into the settings and adjust the black level up. But it's very important that when you're adjusting black level to be careful not to lift the black floor. Meaning if we were to turn the lights off in this room and put black on this LG OLED, we don't wanna see black lifted as if it was gray. So there's very little adjustability I'm gonna have here to bring this up to be make those shadows look like they're not coming out of black a little slower than the HX310. I'll take it up two clicks. Back out of the menu, yeah. let Josh take a look. Excellent, that actually helped a lot. I'm gonna hit play here. And shuffle around the sequence, maybe something that's a little bit different color so we get some ideas. Maybe, so comparing this red now because I know as we change things, certain other things can change. And what I'm noticing from this now is that uh, I'm noticing a lot more yellow in, in this image as compared to this image. More yellow, not, not undersaturated here per se, but that there's a slight color shift towards yellow on the HX310 versus what you're seeing on the LG. Correct. And that's overall in the image. Yes. Okay, Josh is seeing a slightly different yellow tone in between the two images while looking at the rocks here. Now, since he's seeing across the image, and it doesn't appear to be saturation at this point, I'm gonna to start to look at my white point and maybe offer just a slight shift to try and correct for that. Again, Josh, you mentioned that the Sony's looking a little more yellow than the LG, is that correct? That's correct. So if I want a little more yellow on the LG CX here, I'll come into my settings, go to advanced controls, we'll come over to white balance, and if I want to adjust my entire image in, in a specific direction, I'm going to start with the high point or the gain control. Now to add more yellow, I'm going to actually subtract blue. Think about looking at a CIE chart when you're calibrating a display. You have your, let's say, red, green, and blue, and yellow is going to be between red and green. So if I subtract blue, I'm going to move that color point towards that yellow. Here, with the highs, I don't like to push these up above one because I don't want to push the display into clipping a color channel. So take out three clicks. How's that looking, Josh? Better, worse? Uh, a little bit better. A little bit better? Need a little more blue out? Uh, let's try a little bit and see how that looks. Okay. Take it down to my side. Yes. That's getting closer. That's getting closer. Keep going. Let's try one or two more just to see. I like to go too far before we decide. That's a very common practice because right. we're very sensitive with our eyes when things get next to each other. So going just a little past and then bringing it back helps you really ascertain where that right setting yeah. is. I think I might go back closer to six or five. Yes, that looks good. Okay, let's back out of the menu so Josh can see his picture. What I like about the LG OLED when we're doing these adjustments, even though the menu is quite large on the screen, the menu is not really adjusting the picture. On some displays, when you bring up a menu, it may dim the picture in the background so you don't achieve any burn in or image retention from that while you're in the menu system. But with the LG, we're able to bring up the menu system and make some of those adjustments with the menu on the screen before we pull out. A lot of the times too, when I'm calibrating with Dave, I'll, we'll make some changes and then I'll, you know, we'll come back to something else that we changed or we gave notes on to make sure that we haven't dis made any uh, bad decisions in the process. And it, this is looking all really good. Again, always looking through your content. Look at a lot of content. Don't just focus on any one thing. There are gonna be times where you may calibrate two displays and they need almost no tweaking. There's gonna be times where you might need a little more tweaking. If you start getting out of a realm where you feel comfortable, it's always great to pull out your meters, remeasure, see what's going on. In fact, when Josh and I started getting set up here today, the first thing Josh said was, the contrast ratio is very different between these monitors, way different. And we took a look and what we found is we had a converter in our signal path that was changing full range to legal range for one of the monitors. So while they were both in full range, one of them had a converter changing the content which was causing that difference. So if you do find you're getting way out of the realm of comfortability with your adjustments, you may want to start looking through the signal path and troubleshooting what may be going on upstream. How are we looking, Josh? I think we're looking great. I think I'm ready to do a review with my client. You're ready to do a yeah. review with your client? Yeah. Well, there you have it. <laughs> We've gone through adjusting the Sony BVM HX 310 as a reference hero monitor, calibrated perfectly to the standard, calibrating the LG OLED CX 77-inch CX 
to the standard and then doing a perceptual match to match the LG visually to our artists and take out that metameric failure as best as possible. So when clients come in, they're seeing the same thing on the LG as Josh is seeing on his Sony BVM HX310. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you on the next one. Thank you.